Okay, so for today's design, I'm thinking about doing like a cow print look. Um, if you watch my last video, you know that I did this set right here. And I really like that pinky finger cow look. So I'm going to try to do the same thing on all of these. Well, I don't know if I want to do the full nail. I kind of just want to do like the natural pink color and then the tips cow print. And like a pastel color palette. So I don't know. I guess we'll see what this is going to look like. But right now I'm going to go in with the base coat. And this is the base coat from Beatles. Okay, so one thing that I forgot to do in my last video was to buff out the tips before applying the base coat, so I'm going to do that now. If you're looking for the type of tips that I'm using, you can check the description box because I will have these linked below. While those nails are curing, these are going to be the colors that I'm using. So this is what I'm going to use for my base coat. It is by Ameli and it's in the color 036. And then I'm going to go in with the white by Beatles. And then these are the colors I'm going to be using to kind of create the cow print. I'm thinking of doing a pastel color palette. I know these two don't really look pastel colors, but I don't have a pastel yellow or an orange, so I'm just going to add some white to it to make it pastel. So these all didn't come in the same kit, they're all from different kits. So I'm going to go in with that natural color and I'm going to paint all of the tips for the base coat except the ring finger. I'm going to make white because I think I'm going to make that one a full cow print color type thing. And I'm going to do two coats with this because this color is kind of sheer. <laughs> So this is what my color palette is looking like. I'm going to also put some white over here. But this color I think might be a little bit too close to white and I don't think it's going to show up. So I might go in with, I don't know, I might switch this to a green, like a pastel green color. Okay, so the first one I think I want to start with is the thumb. I'm going to go ahead and try to make this French tip. I kind of just like to start in the middle so I know exactly where that curve is going to stop and then go off on the sides like that. going to take this brush and dip it in some alcohol and basically just clean it up. And 
and then after I clean it up, I'm going to cure it and do a second coat. This is what it's looking like with the French tips on. I tried my best to get them very equal, so to make sure that the curve is the same. Alright, so now I'm on the last one and I think I'm going to go in with yellow because I think yellow is going to look cute with this color palette. tip. Hopefully I don't regret this because I hate it when I'm doing something with gel polish and then I end up butt liking it and it pisses me off because I already cured it and now I can't just like scrape it off. So I'm gonna do this first and see what it looks like on all of the fingers before I cure it. That way I don't have to trash the whole nail. So here is the final look. This is after the top coat. 
very shiny. I actually like it a lot. I really like the color mix too. I'm kind of glad I didn't use the orange because I think it would have just thrown it off. But this is super cute. I really like it. Okay, so this is the final look. I think they're so freaking cute. I really, really like the color palette. I think it goes well together. Um, don't mind my crusty ass cuticles. I cannot find my cuticle cleaner. But look at these. These are so pretty. I love these so much. I will have all the products that I use in this video listed in the description box, so don't forget to check that out. And I will see you guys in my next video.